everybody so this look is inspired by the new grand theft auto 6 trailer i got this idea from a guy i wanted to wife me up but that's neither here nor there i don't know if he watches these i got the eye inspiration from this photo the eye was inspired by the sky and my lip is inspired by her look that nice pink jacket i absolutely love it i really hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye Okay, so starting it with P. Louise base on the eyes, and then we are going to go in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Banana Fetish. The first color that I'm using is the color Star Split. That is the middle row, first column. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the first color in the Cotton Candy Queen palette, um, Frosting Fun, I believe it's called, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we are using that. And then we have, um, okay, so Frost Frosting Fun is all over the lid. The yellow from the Banana Fetish palette is in the inner corner of my eye. Then I'll be going ahead and taking Fuck from the Jawbreaker palette. And I will be using that on my crease for the outer portion of my crease. For the inner portion of my crease, I wanted something a bit more pink, or I'm sorry, purple. So I'm using Gumdrop from the Jawbreaker palette. Um, I think the Jawbreaker palette is definitely one of my favorite palettes. Um... So going ahead and doing that, and you can see there the pink blending into the purple. For the outer corner of the eye, I went ahead and I used Taste Test Me from the Cotton Candy Queen palette. And for the brow bone, I will be using Virgin from Jawbreaker, by the way. I definitely forgot to mention that. Um, but with the look, it's very oh no and... Um, very soft you know what I mean um, everything is very blended so after we've got those colors all blended out I'm actually gonna go back in with the yellow from the banana fetish palette and then I'm gonna be going back in with the pink from the cotton candy queen palette and I will be kind of re brightening up those I did use a little bit of gourmet gloomy on the outer uh, edge of my eye but only a touch then I will be taking um taste test me like I mentioned and that's this lovely dark vibrant um violet I would say and I'm just going to be going ahead and blending that along the length of the um from from the eyelash to the brow the end of the brow, if that makes sense. I was trying to think of the area that that's called, but I don't remember. Um, so taking that and just kind of blending that mostly in the inner uh, crease area, the outer V area, and then so slowly kind of building it up and blending it out towards under the eyebrow. We don't want to go too far, um, just enough that it's a nice gradient. And then once we've blended that out, we want to go back in and touch up some more of that purple for more intensity and clean that up with a makeup wipe. For eyeliner, I switched it up for the top eyeliner here. I used the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. Um, it's okay, but I'm still not, you know, cheating on my Made by Mitchell Black Milk Graphene Liquid Eyeliner. That's still my fave. Uh, but I, so I used this and then curled my lashes, put on Benefit Their Real Magnetic Mascara, and then glued on some lashes that I made. And you can see how I custom made my lashes on my channel. Um, and then I went ahead and in between my lashes and the real lashes, I, or between my lashes and the fake lashes, I went ahead and applied some of the Made by Mitchell Liquid Eyeliner. I always have my eyelash touching my inner eyelash line and then fading out towards 
the outer because I like it to have a more lifted approach as opposed to a downturn approach, which I would have if I was to wear it all the way to the end of my actual eye. Then I went ahead and used the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. And I will be using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. Then going in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Um, for the concealer, I did under my eyes and I did um, on my forehead and on my chin. I have a little bit of um, redness from electrolysis on my chin, so I will be doing that, um, applying some concealer, and then blending that out with just a beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever you have. I like the Real technique, Techniques ones if you are looking for something. Um, I forgot to fill my eyebrows in, I realized, as I was doing this. So I just used the P. Louise Oh So Browdiful Skinny Brow Pencil. I don't know the exact name of it, but... Um, Anyway, then uh, applying the foundation all over my face with a brush and then going back over it with um, a sponge to kind of blend everything out. And I will be using the... Oh, what was this called? The Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the color Light. And for blush, I will be using P. Louise Coral Morals Liquid Blush. And I absolutely love this. Love the P. Louise Liquid Blushes. I was really happy with how my base turned out. It's pretty much all of my favorite products. So I wanted to make sure that I did a lot of blush today uh, because I wanted to give it that kind of neon 80s look that that photo has that I showed you at the beginning um, of the Grand Theft Auto promo image. You know, it's kind of got that like neon nights 80s feel. So I went ahead and applied some of the liquid blush and then I did go back over it with another application of it more centered um, and less blended out. Then I went ahead and used the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and I used the Shivering White Color under my eyes, and I used my Skinny Color on the rest of my face, and I used the ELF Halo Glow Setting Powder to set everything in place. I apply that ELF Halo Glow Setting Powder all over my face. I want to make sure that it is um, totally dry, totally transfer proof. I hate when there's the feeling of dewiness on my skin um, and you know hair sticks to it and it can rub off easier I hate that that's like total issue so I never do that uh, but anyway I, I add the loose setting powder to dry everything up but I add the pressed powder for added coverage the loose powder goes over the whole face, and then I will be using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze. I recommend Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer if you're looking for something compatible, or comparable, I should say. Then I use the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2, and I use the color in the top right. It is like this nice pink, um orange, I would say, a pink orange. It's not... And I was going to say an orange pink, but it's, it's honestly like kind of a true orange. Like I don't even really know why I said pink orange, but it's pretty true orange. So I did a lot and, um, applied that along the area that I had from my cheeks to my temples. Like I said, give it that like eighties neon nights type feel. Just applying the bronzer along the perimeter of my face, by the way, and a bit on my nose. Um, yeah, I don't really know why I said pink orange for this. This is pretty true orange. 
Um, and you know, that's that. Then I will be uh, using the ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter and I will be using the Janessa Myricks Inlay Halo and Ice just along the uh, highest point of my cheekbone. But I will be using the ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter basically all over it. I was loving how this blush was looking. I can't believe that I used to be a girl who like never really wore blush, wore like a touch of it, but I love blush, bitch. You know what I'm saying? For lips, I did do uh, the Crown Case Pink Lip Liner. It's like a hot pink color. Then I used the NYX Milan Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is all after already um, removing the foundation and stuff, by the way. Oh my gosh, under my eyes, I totally forgot. Or under my eyes, I used the Taste Test Me from the Cotton Candy Queen and Ice Cream Drip from that as well too. I used the darker purple along the outer perimeter of my eye and the lighter purple on the inner perimeter of my eye and just touched it with a bit, touched my um, lash line uh, with a bit of it as well too, but like not much at all, honestly. I didn't really wear anything on my lash line. I definitely would have wore the um made by Mitchell in the nude pencil but I didn't um and just for a little pop on the inner corner and under my eye I use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jeffree's Diamonds Liquid Star Shadow so back to the lips here uh I used the NYX Milan Soft Matte Lip Cream all over then I went ahead and used Jeffree Star Cosmetics Iced Plum Velour Liquid Lipstick on the outer edges of my lip, um, like the corners. And then I went ahead and blended in with I'm Royalty by Jeffree Star. And I used my finger to blend all three of those in. And then I reapplied the NYX one in the center of my lip because I wanted it to be more of a pink lip with a hint of purple as opposed to a purple lip with a hint of pink. I hope that makes sense. Then I used the Fenty Pretty Please lip gloss, um, the gloss bomb after that. I loved how this lip turned out. Um, I basically love all of the products in there. Uh, what is your guys' favorite soft matte lip cream from NYX? I love these products, so I was thinking of picking up more colors but I find that they kind of transfer a bit more on my mouth or on my teeth um and I know of like the finger trick and the thumb trick and the tissue trick like I know all of those it's just it never really works for me and that is uh basically it um you can see the application of the purple there uh, the Ice Plum is just on the corners for some added depth. And then I'm Royalty right in between them. Quick swipe over with your finger, like a quick swipe over the area. And you're basically done um, because it doesn't take long to blend out. They're not like two vastly different colors. So having them in the same color family like that will definitely make it easier. Like I said, applying that Milan color right over top of it to make sure that it is more pink toned. And we're all done. Just add some lip gloss. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.